<laughs> hey everyone and welcome to Danira's number 17 love letter. It's amazing to be here uh, with my good friends Ali and Andrina once again. How are you guys? How are you Ali? I'm great. The sun is shining. Uh, the world is opening up very slowly mm. but still opening up nonetheless. What about you Andrina? How are you? I'm pretty good. I can't complain. You know, it is lovely to see everything uh, opening up again. And um, also, you might notice my hairstyle. It gives you a little clue as to what I might be talking about later. So I'll let you Okay, know. so we'll get to that. Um, and I am excited about that. And talking about opening up, we opened up denira.com this week. And it's our beautiful new website. We're very excited about it. Hope you enjoy it. We'll let you guys just surf it at your pleasure. There's loads on there. It's really easy to navigate. Um, entertainment, food, education, wellness, as well as new released stuff, as well as homemade original Denira um, content. So, you know, we invite you over. Um, but this week, we've got some exciting stuff to talk about. Um, Andrina, why don't we just get to it? I mean, what all are you right, cooking? All right, all right. I can't cooking? waste this hairstyle on, on, you know, waiting forever. So this week, we are talking all things Hala. And for something that started in the biblical days as a piece of dough basically being offered to the Kohen has grown into this rich, luxurious bread. Once it got to the States, we filled it full of eggs and sugar. And now we have mm -mm -mm. billions and billions of challah recipes. But this week we're looking at Jamie Geller. She is the queen of challah in New York. Well, one of them, there are many. And we have so many different variations on challah, whether it's stuffed, dressed, broken down into little bites. It's going to be amazing. I'm very excited to make French toast already with my leftovers, but I'm going to put a twist on it with some rum and some raisins. So oh. the challah this week in my house at my Shabbos table is going to be amazing. So definitely, definitely check it out. Yum, yum, yum. I love challah. I mean, who doesn't? I do like a French toast usually on a Saturday. Who does yeah. a French toast? Yeah, yeah. There's a queue in yeah. my house for French toast on Saturday morning. So yeah. Okay. I like, I love um, sweet and savory. Um, what do you do with it, Andrina? Usually your French toast. Look, I'm definitely just a salt and pepper chick on my French toast. I know it's controversial. Okay, what? My family are against me. It causes a lot of consternation to my mental health, wow. you know, on a Saturday morning. I'm pretty much straight up and down salt and pepper. So yeah, that's me. Ali? Oh, look, the daughter of a, of a Hungarian, I'm cinnamon and sugar all the way. All yeah, plum I can jam. go there. I can go cinnamon there. and sugar and all plum jam. So it's a, it's a sugar rush in this household when we're <laughs> having French toast. So look, in the newsletter this week, there's actually lots of live events that you guys should check out. There's a festival called the Renew and Rise Festival, which is brought to you by an Australian crew called the Cottery, which is amazing. There is a wonderful um, <clears throat> conversation happening by uh, Save a Child's Heart on, on Wednesday, um, October 17th, which is talking to um, uh, Israeli trained surgeons um, who basically are saving on average average more than one child a day saving their house so that's an amazing story there's a book launch in there there's a big conversation happening with eve barlow um who i know that you're a big fan of um ali uh, noah tishby and barry weiss fighting back against hate um <clears throat> brought to you by the simon wiesenthal center and there's also a beautiful little short film in there called The Violin Upstairs that I invite you all to check out. Um, Ali, do you have anything to add this week? Like what's getting you excited? Oh, look, I think Jewish comedians just generally are getting me pretty excited. And there's a great podcast that we're including in this week's Love Letter um, that is that is by two very fabulous Jewish comedians. I think that as a, as a religion and as a culture, you know, we do the dark stuff really well, but we also do the light stuff really, really well. And so my contribution to this week's love letter is a little bit of the light stuff. Mm, where there is dark, there is light. And hopefully at De Niro, we're bringing balance to you all. So from Ali, Andrina and I, wishing you a beautiful, beautiful week ahead, um, a lovely weekend. Enjoy the sunshine if you're getting it. And uh, yeah, welcome back and welcome home. Bye. Bye.